Hey, Mike, let's import audio into your Logic Pro X project. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. This channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. And today, we're going to be taking a quick look at how to import audio into a Logic Pro X session. Now, this may be audio that you want to use for any samples, maybe a beat that you're working on. Maybe it's a beat that you're going to add vocals on top of. Whatever the case, using audio and importing audio into your Logic Pro X session is super important, something you're going to be doing all the time. Let me show you how to get those audio files into the session the right way. So just like most DAWs, a lot of time what you can do is simply just go up to the file menu and navigate down to import. So if I go up to right up to the file menu, I'm going to go down to import and I have all these different options of different media that I can import into this session, including logic projects, audio files, MIDI files, music and XML. Um, they have some other stuff here, but in this case, I imagine I'm about to import a beat that I just downloaded from you. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and choose audio file. When you do this, it'll open up a finder type window where you can search through any audio files that you may have on your system. I like to just be able to hit the space bar if you're on a Mac here. Well, you're going to be on a Mac because you're using Logic. But once you are navigating through, you can use, oh, search through any folders or drives that you have on your system. You can hit the space bar to preview that file to make sure that's the one that you want to actually bring in. You have some information down here at the bottom about that file, including the file type, the sample rate, the bit depth. You have the length of the file and also the stereo width of that file. And you got a little play button here too, in case you just wanna play it straight through there, you don't have to hit the space bar. But that's how you would actually preview that file. Once you decide that's the file that you want, you simply just go ahead and hit open. And now it's converting the sample rate. So if anything needs to happen in order for that file to work. So in this case, I was working with a 44.1 file and the session is set to 48K. The file automatically gets converted for me and now it's imported in. I really don't have anything more to do here besides go ahead and start to play this and make additional tracks to start recording my other audio. There's another way that we could have gotten this file in too. I could have went straight to the finder Locating any audio file that I wanted to bring in and simply drag it and drop it right into this edit window of my logic project. And you see that it comes in the exact same way. If it needs to do any conversion or anything like that, logic will automatically take care of that for us. All right, y'all, that was a quick look at how to import your audio in Logic Pro X. Go ahead and start importing audio and making some dope music. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Be dope. Thank you.